If you watch cable news, you might think global warming is some newfangled theory. Its very existence a topic of fierce debate in the scientific community. In fact, the first warnings of warming go way back. In 1939, Time magazine ran a story about winters getting warmer. In 1947, the New York Times ran a story about a new study and quoted the author who warned that a mysterious warming of the climate is slowly manifesting itself in the Arctic. He called the situation urgent. Nine years later, in 1956, the Times reported on a scientific finding that carbon dioxide in the atmosphere was causing a greenhouse effect and creating warmer temperatures. The scientists warned that increasing levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will eventually, quote, have a profound effect on our climate. The warnings continued through the decades, through the 50s and 60s, through the 70s, through the 80s, and through the 90s. The term greenhouse effect became the term global warming and global warming gave way to the term climate change. And we continued to talk, and to talk, and to talk, and to talk. As the new millennium began and two oil men took office, the issue became increasingly political. Disinformation campaigns succeeded in focusing the debate on whether or not warming was actually occurring, which was never in doubt, rather than on how to reduce the damage. And as we talked, our emissions of carbon dioxide continued to rise, as did the global temperatures. Which brings us to today, and yet another scientific report urging action. Except this one is different. In this report, issued by the National Academy of Sciences in May 2010, the scientists explicitly call on lawmakers to institute a carbon pricing system. We've spent 50 years debating and delaying action, and today we have only a small window of time remaining to reduce our emissions and avoid some of the worst impacts. To create the new energy economy we need, we must pass legislation that puts a price on carbon, as the NAS report states. Right now, the summer of 2010, Congress is debating an energy and climate bill. Tell them that a cap on emissions and a price on carbon must be part of the bill. Call your senators. If we the people lead, the leaders will follow.